Uh, Dr. Mori, Uncivilized Vitality, and I just wanted to bring a quick update video about the Uncivilized Vitality um, ADC, the All Day Carry Knife. So it started out as this uh, little wooden thing I carved up, and I thought I'd really like that uh, for an ADC knife. We're thinking this is something you should carry, or could carry on you all day. In a neck knife, uh, an infinity harness on your belt, inside the waistband, outside the waistband, a boot knife, <clears throat> strapped to your pack, lots of ways to carry it. It'll come with a Kydex sheath. So we started out with that. And then the amazing Lenny um, from the blacksmith shop was able to uh, turn that into a 3D print and we printed one out so we had a better shape. And now this knife is for small thumb supported, small bushcraft tasks, uh, not really batoning wood or, or anything uh, major. But uh, we call these a string and cheese knife. You cut string and paracord and slice up your cheese. Or it's designed to fit in your hand, because my background is in um, martial arts and edged weapons. Uh, it's defined, designed to fit in your hand for a, a get off me knife, just to poke small holes. So we came up with that. Then he threw one together in um, metal. So we started with this. This was the, the next uh, level. And we're still refining it. We uh, like that blade stock. We decided to go a little thicker. Don't worry about the Kydex. It's going to be much better. So again, it's got that nice, uh, nice shape in the palm. It's designed for reverse grip or ice pick grip, um, self-defense, and then as a use of a small personal knife. And then recently, Lenny has just, uh, before we came up to camp, he threw together uh, the next level of prototype. We are going to include it with a pancake style, or sorry, a taco style Kydex sheath. It'll have a little pocket hook so you can carry it in a reverse grip in your pocket. It'll catch the cloth as you come out. Or you can use uh, tech lock, uh, ulti clip, um, uh, soft in inside the belt, uh, inside the belt carry loop. Lots of ways to carry it, even a neck knife. We have constructed <clears throat> this one out of a little thicker stock because I think that's what he had on hand. But it's going to be, in it will include or come with these um, scalloped G10 scales, which adds a real nice um, palm swell, kind of reminiscent of the. Shivworks clinch pick, a, a uh, favorite of mine. Oh, this is not a, a Pical style knife with the, the blade here, so that it can double as a small task knife. This is um, <clears throat> quite a bit thick. We're not going to go that thick with the stock. We're going to go uh, quite a bit thinner, and we're going to bring this out a little, little tighter, a little stabbier, maybe sweep that up a bit. We're going to move the carriage bolts in a little bit from the neck and the handle, so we have a lanyard hole, and... Um, uh, stay with the scallop. You will be able to get a few different versions. You can get the the full G10 scalloped uh, handles and the Kydex sheath with a couple mounting options. You can get just the knife with the skeletonized handle, uh, the large holes in there, and some paracord, and you can wrap your own. Uh, and we might, and we're working on coming up with uh, a trainer version that might come with a, a deluxe set so you can practice uh, without stabbing each other. So you can practice live training with the blade. Maybe we'll 3D print some kind of um, plastic so you can use that. That'll fit inside the same um, sheath. I forgot which one this fits in. I must not have brought it. But anyway, that's the latest version. Uh, Lenny has uh, done a great job. Now these will all be custom, so I think the price point's going to come in around one, anywhere from one. 20 to 160, 170. Um, and we'll be taking orders hopefully by the end of the summer. So it has evolved from my little carved knife idea, and Lenny has turned it into an actual knife. Uh, we're going to call this the Uncivilized ADC. This is our all day carry knife. And it's got a weird shape, I know, but it's, uh, it's design driven as a, a quick response get off me knife that can also double as a string and cheese. Uh, backup knife for bushcraft. So check out um, the channel and look for further updates on this as we get them, and then we'll we'll announce how to uh, how to order pre-order these. Uh, that's all we have.